to show you three different ways on how to work dosage calculation problems using dimensional analysis, desired over have, and ratio and proportion. So let's get started. First, let's review our problem. It says the provider orders 2,000 milligrams IV daily. You're supplied with a 4 gram per 2 ml vial. How many milliliters per dose will you administer? So after reading that, what you get from this is that you have this order to give a patient 2,000 milligrams once a day, so one dose. However, the problem is, is that you have this vial of that medication that says for every two mLs of solution that you're withdrawing into your syringe, you're giving four grams, but the patient's ordered 2,000 milligrams. So you've got to do some math to actually figure out how many milliliters per dose you're going to give. So that is our whole goal. Whenever we work all three of these methods, we're trying to get to milliliters per dose. So first let's solve this problem using dimensional analysis. What is this method? Well, this method uses conversion factors to go from certain units and cancels out those units until we get to the units we're trying to solve for. And the unit we're trying to solve for in this case is milliliters per dose. And typically dimensional analysis calculations are worked in one continuous calculation until you get your answer. And with these conversion factors, that's within the problem, you're going to multiply them with each other. And then at the end, you're going to divide. They are expressed in fraction format. So, you know, with a fraction, you have that handy dandy little line that separates the numerator, which is the top number from your denominator, which is the bottom number. And these two things should be equal to each other, but just expressed in like different units. So let me show you how to work this problem and that should make a little bit more sense. Okay, first up, we're gonna start with what our provider ordered. The provider ordered 2000 milligrams, which is equal to one dose. So you see these things are equal, but they're just expressed in different units. Now we're gonna multiply that by another conversion factor and one thing you want to remember with dimensional analysis and even with these other problems as I go through it is that certain units within the problem have to match so they can cancel out. So you need to know where that should be and pay attention to that part. Here, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this milligrams over because we have to get to grams, but we can't get there just yet. I just can't throw in grams right here because those two wouldn't cancel out. So I have to pull from the metric table and have to do a little converting. We know that there are a thousand milligrams in one gram. That cancels out our milligrams and I'm in grams where I need to be. So now I can plug in this other conversion factor over here and then we can get this thing solved. So we're going to multiply that by this. So pulling your grams over, don't forget to do that. And we know from this vial that four grams is equal to two milliliters. That cancels out grams. And there we are. We're where we need to be in milliliters per dose. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply everything at the top, everything at the bottom, and then divide. So whenever I do that, I get 4,000 at the top. I'm going to bring that milliliter unit over. I get 4,000 at the bottom, bring that dose part over, because remember, those are still hanging out. They didn't cancel out. And then I'm going to divide. And when I divide that, I get one milliliter per dose. And that is our answer. Now let's solve this problem using the desired over have method. This is a formula method, so you're going to have to memorize a formula, which is quite easy to memorize. And what this formula says is that you take the desired dose over the have dose and multiply that by the quantity and that gives you x the dose that needs to be given so the desired dose is the dose that has been ordered by the provider you plug that number in there and then the have dose is that dose that you have on hand that you've been supplied with from pharmacy you plug that dose in there now one thing you have to remember which is why i have these little asterisks here is that these measurements of units for your desired over have dosages they have to match before you proceed with solving this whole formula so if they don't match you got to do a little converting and then replug into your formula and then you're ready to solve and you'll multiply that by the quantity which can be the amount or the volume and then you get your answer so let's plug in what we have so you can see how this thing works Okay, our desired dose is 2,000 milligrams. That's what they desire for the patient to have. What dose do we have on hand? We have a four gram dose on hand. 
we're going to multiply that by the quantity, which in this case is volume. So it's two milliliters is our volume and that equals X. So right off the bat, I see that these measurement units do not match. So that signals to me, I got to go from the med, got to pull from the metric table, do a little converting. I want to go ahead and just convert these milligrams, the 2000 milligrams to grams. So it matches the four grams on what I have. So from the metric table, we know that there are a thousand milligrams into one in one gram. Now we just change that to 2000 milligrams. That equals two grams. You could have also divided 2000 by a thousand and you would get two. Either way you want to do, it's up to you. So what we're going to do is just erase this and rework it a little bit. So we know that 2000 milligrams equals two grams. So I'm just going to put two here and hope we match. Great. Now I'm ready to proceed with solving. So we are going to divide two divided by four gives us 0.5 and these grams canceled out. We're going to multiply that by two milliliters. When we multiply that out, we get one. So our answer is one milliliter per dose. And finally, let's solve this problem using ratio and proportion. With this method, we are setting up an equation, hence we're creating one using ratios. We are going to use a known ratio and an unknown ratio, hence a desired ratio. And we particularly want to solve for a part of the unknown ratio, which will give us our answer. So ratios are expressed in a fraction. And with this, with our known ratio, how we get this information is we look from our problem and we look at the dosage we got. So the dosage that we have on hand that we've been given from pharmacy and we plug that number in there. And that is going to be over the volume we got, the volume we've been supplied for. And this should be equal to, once we solve everything out, to the dose that was ordered by the provider. So we plug that dose in there. And then we're going to put that over X because we don't know that yet. We're trying to solve for that. So we're going to put X there and put what we're trying to solve for. So in this case, it would be milliliters. Now, whenever you're working these problems, there's a couple things you want to remember. With this, you cross multiply. So multiply everything here, everything there, and then it should be equal to itself. You don't divide like how we did in the previous problems. In addition, you want to make sure that these units of measurement are in the same order and that they match up. If they don't, you've possibly set up your problem wrong, your ratio wrong, or you need to do some converting. So for instance, you got milligrams here, milliliters here, you need milligrams here and milliliters here before you can proceed with solving. So let me just plug this information in and work it so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, first ratio we're creating is our known ratio. So this is what we know, this is what we have on hand. So the dosage we got, the dosage we got is four grams. That is going to be over the volume we got, which is two milliliters. Because for every four grams, we're given two milliliters. That should be equal to the dose ordered, which is 2,000 milligrams over X. This is what we don't know. We're trying to solve how many milliliters we're going to give. So let's do a quick check before we go and cross multiply. Can we do that just now? Well, do they match? Milliliters, milliliters, looks good. Grams and milligrams, that's not right. So we need to do some converting. And then plus just do a little check. We have the same type of units here, grams. Yes, they're, this is grams, that one's milligrams, but they're the same type of unit and that's definitely the same unit. So we're good there. So let's go ahead and do some converting. We're gonna use the metric table. We know, cause I want, what I wanna do is I wanna get these grams to milligrams to match that. So we know that one gram equals a thousand milligrams. Well, if I have four grams, that's going to equal 4,000 milligrams. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just quickly just erase right here, put an MG and then do 4,000. So we match, match, match. We are good. So now let's cross multiply. So 4,000 times X gives us 4,000 X equal, bring that equal sign down, two times 2,000 gives you 4,000. We want to get X all by itself. To do that, we're going to divide it out 
That gets rid of 4,000, gets x all by itself, which makes it happy. But what we did over here, we got to do it over here. So we're going to divide that out, and that gives us 1. So what was x again? It was milliliters. So the answer is 1 milliliter. But let's make sure it's right. So we're just going to go plug that into our equation. So I'm going to erase that right there. And just double check our work. So we'll delete the x right there, put the 1 in, and again, let's cross multiply and see if these truly are equal. Are these ratios equal? Are they proportionate to each other? So 1, 4,000 times 1 is 4,000. 2 times 2,000 is 4,000. They are equal, so that answer is right. Now before we end, there's something quickly I want to go over with you about how some people sometimes set these ratio and proportion things up a little bit differently. Instead of using the line, they use dots to set the problem up. So let me just go over that with you in case that's what you're being taught. So instead of setting it up this way, it would look like this. 4,000, have this there, two milliliters, and then it's double dots, and then it's 2,000 milligrams, and then dot x. So how in the world would you solve that? Because it's like, how do you, you know, you cross multiply up there, but how do you do with this? Well, with this, what you do is you multiply the outer and you multiply the inner. So it would be 4,000 times x, which gives you 4,000 x, and then it would be 2 times 2,000, which gives you 4,000. Then you would just solve like how we did before. You need to get x all by itself, x that out, x is all by itself, and then what you did over here, you have to do over there, and you get 4,000, so it would be one, so it'd be four milliliters equals one. So I just wanna go over that with you in case you were seeing it done that way. Okay, so that wraps up this video. If you'd like to watch more videos in this dosage calculation series, you can access the link in the description below.